Hey y'all, Nikki Brown here. No matter where you are, what part of the world you are in, I hope that you are having a good day. I'm going to put the windows up and turn the air on. I hope that the air isn't too loud. So, I just wanted to basically come on here and talk about relationships. So, I saw this meme. Well, it wasn't a meme. It was actually a post that someone created. And it was a guy saying that he basically shouldn't have to pay all the bills and still come home and cook and clean up and help with the household responsibilities. And so um, when I got more clarification, basically, you know, the wife doesn't want to do her part. She doesn't work, but she doesn't want to do anything. I remember a few years ago I was talking to a brother about something similar and I basically said to him she's not doing it because she doesn't want to do it and so basically if you allow somebody to get away with something they're going to do that and I hate to say I hate to sound cold right but sometimes we meet partners and they're not right for us and I say to that what has love got to do with it right because you either stay stuck with somebody who doesn't want to do their part which could be a karmic right this could be somebody who was just sent in your life to teach you a, a lesson or for some other reason and you were meant to maybe have fun with them for a season and move on and you decided to marry him or her or even move in with him or her and now they don't want to do anything it's a lot of times and not for nothing especially with women women can be more manipulative and calculated than men i think that sometimes men see women as oh she needs my help she's the damsel in distress when really she's the femme fatale who's really playing you and once she feels like she's gotten you to where she wants you to be mentally and emotionally she will become who she really is which is someone who's not going to have sex with you right someone who's not going to please you orally someone who's not going to cook and who's not going to clean up and so you can either spend a lifetime complaining about that or you can cut your losses and move on and I understand there are children involved, right? Maybe you can have joint custody, shared custody. Maybe you can have full custody, whatever that looks like. Because sometimes those women don't want the kids anyway. Again, this is just a, a, a trap. Men do the same thing. They will try to trap a woman with a baby, thinking that that's going to make, you know, get him to stay while he cheats or do does whatever he wants to do and that doesn't always keep a woman there you know there are some women who no matter what their husbands do they 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 stand by those vows and they, they've taken those vows and you know they honor those vows and that's very commendable <laughs> and there are also some men who stand by their vows and you know again very commendable but if you're unhappy and miserable and complaining to other people and creating Facebook posts about this person who does not want to keep up their part of the deal, right? Because I feel like that's a deal. If, you know, this man is saying, baby, you can stay home and I'll take care of all the bills and you don't want to cook and clean up. That's a problem. Now, I would say, yes, seek counseling, therapy, a psychotherapist, because maybe there's some other issue there outside of just sheer laziness. But again, you can't build with somebody who's not doing their part. You know, you're not. And it's funny because I was just <laughs> so... There's, there's another side to this, right? Because I was in a relationship and I was just a girlfriend, right? So there is a such thing as doing too much and giving too much too soon. 
um, and making too much of a sacrifice and too much of a compromise because you know in my 20s well I think yeah back in my early 20s I think I was 21 something like that and anyway I was in a relationship for six and a half years and I was <laughs> I was playing house I call it now right where I was cooking and cleaning up and you know making him lunch breakfast lunch and dinner you know except for the times that we would go out to eat and he wouldn't reciprocate if I asked him to make me something to eat he basically refused to and it had to be a big deal for me to like really kind of complain about it or keep saying something about it in order for him to do it and it would just be doing it in that moment just to please me right um and it would be like, oh, well, I don't know how to cook. And I'm like, well, you know how to make breakfast. So why don't you make us some pancakes or something? Oh, what I don't want. He just didn't want to. <laughs> and then I told him how to make, like, Alfredo. And it was chicken Alfredo because I was still eating chicken at that point. And I'm like, you're, you're being dishonest. You do know how to cook because I taught you how to make chicken Alfredo. I've taught you how to make a few things. <clears throat> Thank you. And um, so you do know how to cook. But he didn't want to. Again, he just didn't want to. Um, and again, I'm doing everything. Um, and although it was my apartment, you know, there were some other issues there. Where, oh, well, I don't live here. And, you know, even with, like, okay, I'm making sure that we have something to eat. I come home, I start cooking, and the trash needs to be taken out. Oh, how come you didn't take the trash out? Instead of you standing there complaining to me, about not taking the trash out. You're the man. Why don't you just take the trash out? <laughs> and, um, oh, okay. You just got it. Huh? Okay. You don't have to live here. You, you know, and just because I got home before you came to my house, you know, I came home and started cooking. I wasn't thinking about the trash. <laughs> but anyway, um, Yeah, so you can have, you know, there's the other side of that fence, too. So you have some people who um, do everything and it's not appreciated. And then you have some people who don't want to do anything. So you have to find that balance. You have to find that person that you're compatible with. And I think that during the dating phase, these things should be talked about. And if the person is not honest about, you know, what they're willing to do, and there maybe needs to be another conversation or, again, some type of counseling or therapy. But anyway, I'm in the grocery store and it's kind of a lot going on in here. So I will talk to y'all later. I hope this was helpful. Love y'all. Later. Mm -hmm.